Houston, we have a problem. I know, right? I can't find Lindsay or Carrie anywhere, and I've searched everywhere. Do you think they snuck onto that space rocket? With those two, anything is possible. Man. Well, you guessed right. We tried to get onto that rocket. But who knew you had to have special training to go into outer space? I know, right? Astronauts have to study up to two years to be qualified as astronauts. She's right. Two years of astronaut school is required. Well, we definitely have a lot of learning to do. Yes, and you can go on a constellation watch and see how many constellations you can identify. Then you can research one or two constellations and share those fun facts with your family. Well, we're going to go because we've got a lot to know and a lot to learn, so we'll see you later. And you should have fun learning about space, too. When you aren't blasting off into outer space, you will be combining ideas by creating complex and compound sentences. To do this, we take our two sentences and we join them together using connecting words. You already know connecting words. They're words like so, because, and, but sound familiar to you? That's right. They're important words because they connect ideas between two sentences to show connections. Take these two sentences for example. The rocket passed its final inspection. It was ready for takeoff. What connecting word would you use to connect those two ideas? Did you say so? You're exactly right. Listen to how it would sound. The rocket passed its final inspection, so it was ready for takeoff. Using the connecting word so connects my ideas showing a cause and effect relationship between passing inspection and being allowed to take off. Connecting words make a difference in our sentences when we're ready to create complex and compound thoughts. So as you read, look for ways that connectors are used to connect ideas. I hope you have fun as you blast off reading. Wow, I cannot believe this is our last session together. I've had such a blast teaching you some of my favorite math skills this summer. I'm really going to miss that. But before we part ways, there's one more skill I want to work with you on, and that's area and perimeter. So let's take a look at this launch pad where the Discovery shuttle was launched. And notice that the shuttle is resting on a concrete hard stand. That hard stand is about 127,000 square feet in area. That's a lot of area. Now, for our purposes today, I've made a replica so that we can talk about my shuttle's hard stand. Now, it's definitely going to have a much smaller area, as you'll see here. Now, to figure out the perimeter of my hard stand, I need to look along the sides, like where I'm going to build a fence to protect my shuttle. I know that when I go to figure out perimeter, I make sure to count all the sides of the object. Now, what is the perimeter of my hard stand? Right! 4 plus 8 plus 4 plus 8 equals 24 inches. My, my perimeter is 24 inches. Great work! Now, let's talk a little bit about area. Now, I know that when I am figuring out the area of rectangular shape, I'm going to multiply the length times the width to figure out the total area inside that rectangular shape. Now, you may already be familiar with the formula area equals length times width, so let's go ahead and use that today to figure out the area of my hard stand. Now, what is the length of my hard stand? Eight, great, let's plug it in right there. And the width? Four, wonderful. So now, what is the total area in square inches for my hard stand? 32, you are on a roll. Great work. I hope you have a blast learning in mathematics this year. Shoot for the stars as you launch into fifth grade.